Hi guys, we're on a live environment. This is this ISO. Not that it really matters because if it's the February or the January release, there is something specific and strange about Calamaris. When, if, right, if you've got internet, when your internet, you go for the advanced installation, it's gonna grab all these net module files from the internet. Basically, the last five hours, I've rewritten the Calamaris configuration files. And the thing is, you know that we have tons and tons of packages. I think we're over 600 packages that we provide you. So we build it, you download it. That's the difference. Well, let's go for this one first and then sudo pacman minus s. I just want to go and show you the repos, right? So gradually it, it just happens daily and weekly that packages get added and added and added. And we have added so many packages the last six or maybe a year already. So I had to do a check. Hey, uh, what is on our repo and what is on Calamaris? So without further ado, if you got, right? If you got internet and if you do the advanced installation, then you see the new stuff. Here, nothing is new. Next, nothing new, nothing new. And here in GNOME, we've added packages that we've put on the repos, but not in here. These three guys, if you like them, install them. If you don't like them, don't click, right? That's the idea. There is something maybe I should say in advance. Calamaris, the idea of the configuration of the choices was always what you see is what you get that stays the same. What you see here will be installed on your system. There's no way around it. It's in bits and bytes. It's zero ones that get copy pasted over. It's gonna be there. So you see something, pseudo pacman minus R L R S and it's gone. So this is always more, but and that's different with the previous videos or previous release, right? It has also the packages that are already installed. So if you see here, Firefox, Qubitorrent, Telegram, Firefox, Discord, it will be also on there. So it's no longer, if it's here, it will be also here, right? That's the difference. Previously, it was not mentioned because, hey, why add it to the list since it's there already, right? But voila, we've skipped the notion of, of that and now we have, um, this layout, this configuration. The reasoning being, voila, you got everything. There's an overview. For maintenance sake, for me, it's easier. And it was actually also asked by our beta tester. So, voila, there we go. This has changed. Arclex Spamac all. Well, added, not changed. At some point in time, there was a problem with AOR, with Pamac, and Pamac is not. Well, from the AOR, it's from Anjaro, right? So we've imported that particular package but we just want the PAMAC all, not the PAMAC AWAR or all the rest. One package to rule them all. We have, we are in control because it's our package. And all the rest has stayed the same. We have, well, changed like maybe a year already, but it was never in Calamaris. Next, by the way, yes, it's installed, right? So even if it is installed, we do mention it up here. Okay. Yes, um, we changed here somewhat something as well. I have Discord Arch Electron Extra. The Discord is what we use. This Discord Arch Electron could, can be an alternative. And there is also Telegram Desktop and Telegram Desktop Bin. So the binary version of it. Okay, next. In development, we've added micro. A little thing, very handy, and I need it on Wayland. Okay, next. Nothing changed here. Lots of fonts. Let's have uh, a look. Adobe Source fonts, Sans fonts is new. Lohit fonts is new. Not of fonts was always on the ISO. We, we mention it anyway. And then Deja Vu is here, Android was all the, is on the ISO and, and, and voila. And TTF Mac was added. Okay. 
that's it next audio software audio software let me see multimedia the changes here are deezer olivia is new spotify adblock git is new in the video it's clapper and something to cut your videos into pieces lossless cut bin next in the browser department which is called internet we have added chrome chrome gnome shell wow and chromium white vine and icecat has been built quite recently a month or two ago free download manager is new i've uh, moved since the utilities department became a little bit too big and it made more sense for me that the vpn software is in here so we have some room here and internet well if you want to have internet sometimes people tell you know, your website sites can't be reached right because of the blocking of the tenants even of the company of the isp the internet service provider lots of reasons and then you go vpn yep that's it next in the themes we have added nordic kde git we have added plata theme numix icon theme was always installed but it's now here clickable you see it right this one and the kde thing kit and maybe you don't know this one papyrus linux universe that's a new one as well and yes you know that the cursor i'm having is bibata cursor theme bin well here it is it's visual it's already there it's already installed but you can click it anyway so if you may maybe interesting to tell you right if you click something that's already there the only thing you'll do is prolong the installation because you have to install something and then well download something and then install something so it takes more time and it's there anyway right and afterwards you'll do an update so you'll get the latest version in just um know what you're doing right finger cursors that's a new one and then i got an idea i said wait maybe i can put all these pycom things together because people have all sometimes a preference for a certain pycom um, fork so to speak and uh, voila it's possible quantum came the next because that also gonna change the look quantum is already installed and voila again choices visual choices the thing is this is also available in Arclinks D which is the bare ISO where you do need to install things like that so here it's not really necessary it might even break things right it we give you more choices but it will result in more complexity and more breakage so learn the bits and pieces of arch next no i don't think this one no and games yeah we did add something to the games there are some packages that people say do build it because i like it i need it Game Devices UDEF is here and Proton Up QT Bin is our two packages that came from users. I built them, I put it on the on online and that's it. Terminals. Ooh, we've done a lot of work in terminals. The terminals are present, right? Alacrity is our default, and yes, we have the themes on XL, right? And and so on. So there are oh this one is new as well. That one is new we have rxvt unicode but we have the choice here tabby 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 bin uh, this one is a new one and also a very large one is gone coming from the extra large repo tempest theme terminal urxvt is on the iso but here it is so you know those are choices and in XFC4 terminal is the default there, F12, right? But the base colors is are clickable, but they are there. 
and so on. This is new, right? Terminal tools to search. I thought I make so many videos, these RG, AG, PT, right? All these things to search. Here they all are. They are on the ISO, but it's interesting to see the names. So educational wise, that's, that's super. So, you know, ah, later on, if I'm on Arch, I have to type pseudo pacman minus S rip grip and I can do RG. This is also interesting. We have this Articlinux Meta Fun package. We just type it in, you get a bunch of stuff that's fun, but now you can select it here as well. All the fun stuff. If you say just that one or just that one, I believe this is a locomotive or something. Once you see it, you say, wow. And then 10 times you say, okay, whatever, right? But it's fun in the beginning, so have fun. I thought, to, I've, I've changed, I've moved. Well, the, the things that were there with ZSH are still here, but I've moved them from place to the terminals, made more sense, had more room here as well. And I've added all the other stuff that is possible, even the Git versions, as you see. Choices, right? Next. Yeah, I think so too. Let's see. So that's called file manager. Thunar shares plugin. That's the one that I've added here. Utilities as well. But not that one, right? Not that one. Minstick git, minstick bin. Those are the two guys that are new. Yep. They're there, right? USB, just type USB. That's the one that has been burning my hmm, how, 50,000 yeah, ISOs. I don't know. Let's say 10,000, right? <laughs> but all my ISOs are built with Minstick. Never, ever failed. Next. That's utilities. This one. Um, down here, we've added Aura Bin. Gnome software is the way to install stuff. It's already here on this machine software, right? But, well, you need those two because that's the back end. So those are there. Base Git is new. Paku is new. Paku Git Paxik is new. Paru is always there. One version of it, but there are different versions of it. So here you go. You have the choice. Big Cower Git was there. Rate mirrors and Rate mirrors bin. We have already rate mirrors. Our alias is RAM, R A M, rate mirrors. And uh, top grades is here, that's new. And yay has always been our system, but here you have all the choices yay, yay, bin, yay, git. Now, things that, that we have, like Paru and Paru git, they will clash with each other, but it won't result in a problem on your end. But Remember that that's the reason why things happen because Pacman reads package builds and package builds tell this conflicts with that and then it will stop, but Calamars will not stop. Okay. Brillo. Brillo is also new. So all has to do with backlight. CPU ID is here. Duff and Duff bin is here already on the iso gnome disk utility same arch hardware probe what we type in our alias eh? in our terminal probe that's based on hardware probe inksy of course we have inksy but here it is neofetch we have it by default and then i thought let's make well because there is this rest Fall right a rest category utility software. So I thought I'm gonna get these three out, then this list becomes less. And this has all to do with kernels. This is how you make your own personal kernels. And this uh, is not really to do with kernels, but if you start building and then you see these firmware um, checks and uh, configurations, and voila, uh, when you make your init CPIO. And I thought I'll put this guy over here then, then it makes more sense than down here. So it, it really is sometimes, uh, where should I put it, right? But the lock screen gets, mm -hmm. see for the course air keyboards, the light for it. 
What else? Tap tap for Debian files. If you want to change to ours, downgrade. Find the command kit, fingerprint, GUI, flavors, hard code fixer has always been on the systems. Crop customizer is the same, but you can see it now. Can save is for uh, plasma settings if you want to save it for another day or switch. Okay, that's cool. So we used to have the VPN settings here and they're, they have been moved, so they're a little bit together. And if you make more, we can add more to them. Accessories, don't um, applications better? Applications, yes. GitHub, where is GitHub, GitHub, GitHub? This one is new. That's a quite large application, GitHub desktop bin. And uh, ZSH has been removed here, and we've added QMU software. QMU base, QMU full, quick EMU, all these guys are new. Ah, mistake. What are they doing here? All right? So I'm gonna delete and push to the internet, and that's the advantage, right? After this video, I delete two lines, push it to GitHub, and you get the correction immediately. Awesome. Next one, nothing changed here. And that's it guys. Wow, so over 600 packages, I think we should make a count, um, have are on a repo and more or less with some common sense, some we don't add because they're Python libraries and stuff like that. But these are the choices you have if you're going to install with any ISO, right? If you got the internet, if you do advanced, you can have all these choices. All right, cheers.